Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, you will see how we extract gold from stones, regardless of their hardness if they already contain gold. I will first remind you of some gold-bearing stones, or raw materials, which are quartz and dacite, schist, breccia granite, and schist near granite. Nice and quartz and slate near its contact with diorite and quartz between slate and diorite. Nice is a banded or foliated granite rock, in which mineral values can be found in layers. Diorite is a common rustic rock in the granite family, composed primarily of hornblende and feldspar. Gold or other valuables can also be extracted from eruptions. Igneous rocks produced by volcanic activity. One of the most important things that will help you in this is the 40 times full metal illuminated jewelry ring magnifying glass. Foldable XYK pocket magnifying glass with lead light. Lead currency detection, jewelry identification. I will leave you in the description box the address of the store. For this wonderful lens for those who want to buy it. Warning the process shown in this video involves highly corrosive acids and should only done outside or in a fume hood. Using safety gear such as gloves, goggles, and a respirator is mandatory. Begin by crushing the mineral stones to a fine powder. Using a mortar and pestle or a mechanical crusher, this increases the surface area, making it easier for the acids to react with the gold particles. First, immediately after grinding, I roasted which is the process of heating sulfide or to a high temperature in the presence of air. It is a step in processing certain ores, more specifically. Roasting is a metallurgy process that involves gas and solid reactions at elevated temperatures. With the goal of refining the mineral component S, please like and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click on the bell icon to get new video updates. Now we will remove the impurities using sulfuric acid. Identification of stone or requires some knowledge and experience in geology and mineralogy. Although it is difficult to provide a comprehensive guide without specific details about the type of ore you are referring to, I can give you some general guidelines to help you get started. Here are the steps you can follow. Observe the color and appearance. Examine the physical characteristics of the stone, note its color, luster, how it reflects light, and any visible patterns or textures on its surface. This initial observation can provide some clues about the type of ore you might be dealing with. Assess the hardness. Try scratching the stone with various objects of known hardness, such as a fingernail, a copper penny, a knife blade, or a piece of glass. Compare the results to a standard hardness scale, like Moss Scale of Mineral Hardness. This test can help you determine the relative hardness of the stone, which can be indicative of certain minerals or ores. Conduct a streak test if the stone is softer than the objects. Used in the hardness test, you can perform a streak test. Use an unglazed porcelain tile or a piece of white. Unglazed porcelain. Rub the stone against the tile's surface and observe the color of the streak left behind. Different minerals produce different colored streaks, which can provide valuable information for identification. After this valuable information, we return again to the video to explain what is happening now. Washed several times with distilled water or just water. Washing helps. Eliminate any remaining acids or Soluble impurities leaving behind pure gold. Safety precautions. Aqua regia is a highly corrosive and toxic mixture of concentrated nitric acid NO3 and hydrochloric acid HCl. It is crucial to perform this process. In a well-ventilated area, wearing appropriate protective gear such as gloves, goggles, and a lab coat, always remember to add the acids to the container. Never the other way around, the mixture will produce toxic fumes. So perform this step in a fume hood or a well-ventilated area. Filtering after the gold has dissolved. Filter the solution to separate it from the remaining solids. 
You can use filter paper or a filtering device to achieve this. The filter will retain the solid impurities while allowing the gold-containing solution known as the pregnant solution to pass through. Here, wipe the cup of any water or impurities so as not to hinder sedimentation and cause the gold to stick to the glass. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click on the bell icon to get new video updates. Add water and urea. When refining using the Aqua Regia method, it is necessary to add urea before the gold is precipitated, typically. Especially with nitric acid-based Aqua Regia. There are free nitrogen ions in solution. This can cause some gold to re-dissolve after it has precipitated. Precipitation to recover the gold from the pregnant solution. You need to precipitate it as a solid. This is usually done by adding a chemical like sodium metabisulfite or oxalic acid or iron sulfate to the solution, which reduces the gold ions to elemental gold. Let it rest overnight. Next day. Collect the gold dust, filter it, and then wash it with extreme caution. Filtration and washing filter the solution once again. To separate the solid gold precipitate from the remaining liquid, rinse the solid several times with distilled water to remove any residual acids or impurities. Drying and smelting. Once the solid gold precipitate is thoroughly washed, dry it completely. This can be done by placing it in a low temperature oven or using a desiccator. After drying, the gold can be melted and refined further using traditional smelting techniques to obtain pure gold. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel for more videos.